Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg, this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur. Today I have a review for you from Bath and Body Works. This is my once a year burn of summer boardwalk. I actually ended up really liking the packaging in this collection. The um, wraparound is a little bit like translucent there and so it looks really pretty when it's burning. As you can see, I had some sooting performance issues at the very bottom of this candle, but for the most part, it was pretty good. I really like how you can see all the clouds there and the Ferris wheel, cute. Oh, this collection also had raspberry rosé and surf shop and they all looked beautiful when they were burning and they were great fragrances surf shop in particular i think is one of my favorite bath and body works candles now mm, summer boardwalk this has been around for a really long time it's definitely a bbw classic a lot of people would say that this is more of a fall candle i think that it's actually a really good like summer into fall candle and i it's not one of my favorites but i usually pick one up you know, once a year and give it a burn. It's really, really sweet and strong. Um, I always say I have a sweet tooth in my mouth and in my nose. Uh, and so once in a while, something like this is up my alley. The scent notes on here are caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. Mm, this had thick ropey wicks on it and the wax was like a dark pink or reddish color. Y'all know I'm colorblind, so I'm not great at telling you what color things are. Gosh, I really do like this one once in a while. I mean, it is a very straightforward mid-level candle. Um, it's really just sort of this one sweet, creamy, apple-y note that hits you pretty continuously and pretty aggressively. Um, I'd say that the strength and throw on this bad boy is a nine. If you're not gonna give a nine to things like Summer Boardwalk, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Laundry Day, then I don't know what you are gonna give a nine to. This is a strong candle. It can really be the only candle that I'm burning um, in my house at all because it travels, you can smell it wherever you go. Um, it's it, it's nice, it's really strong, really sweet. It's not super complicated, but considering that it's such a straightforward mid-level candle, I'd say that it's like reasonably, reasonably balanced, you know? It's not assaultive or anything like that, but it is just a titch aggressive, just a skosh. <laughs> And yeah, I mostly get, I mostly get sort of a popcorn, apple, creamy caramel vibe from this one. And there's something about this candle that I've never quite been able to put my finger on it that stops me from loving it. There's something about, there's something about like the caramel apple note in there that I don't love. But it's, you know, a lot of Bath & Body Works candles are kind of just like old friends to me and I like to give them a burn once a year. This iteration was all right performance wise. Like I said, Summer Boardwalk's always strong. It had thick ropey wicks though and colored wax, which my theory is, my theory is that colored wax and thick ropey wicks is often going to lead you to problems when you get down to the last third of the candle. And in fact, that is what happened here. It just started sooting a lot. I blew it out, trimmed the wicks, relit it, and it still was pretty sooty. They were just some sooty, greasy wicks by the time I got down to the last third of this. And so I just called it a day. Like normally if I have this much of a candle left, I will put it in a crock or under a heat lamp in my kitchen. Um, but I had had enough of this one. Like I said, I think this is a really nice like late summer into fall burn. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about Summer Boardwalk. If you could like this video, if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. I'll be back tomorrow with another video for you guys. So until then, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.